In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import your Maya footage into Adobe Premiere and edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere. And then I can click New Project. You can ignore this section right here. What I'm going to do is name my project. And then I need to make sure that I'm putting it in the right place. So I'm going to choose Choose Location. And then I'm going to navigate to my folder. And click Choose. So what I'm calling it and where I'm putting it. Those are very critical. And then I'm going to ignore all of this and just click Create. To import my footage, I could use this Import button right here. Or I could go to File, Import, or Command-I. I like to just double click this section right here. And then that brings me to my Import window. And it is asking me what I want to import. So I'm going to navigate to the folder that I created earlier in Maya. And I select the first image. And then in the options, I make sure that image sequence is selected. You do this for still images that are being brought in as a video sequence or an image sequence. So I select the first one. Do not select all of them and import them. Otherwise, it will bring it in as a series of still images. But I want this like it's video. So I select that first one, and then I click Import. And then it brings in over here. Now, in Maya, it was 10 seconds long, though right here it says that it's 8 seconds. It has misinterpreted the footage, so I'm going to right-click this clip in the project bin, and I'm going to choose Modify and Interpret Footage. And then here, where it says assume this frame rate, I'm going to punch in 24, because that is what my Maya project was. And now the duration you can see is going to be 10 seconds, and I click OK. And then I can take this and drag it into my timeline area here. And now I have my video. Next thing I can do is add some sound effects. To do that, I'm just going to move this window to the side a little bit. And I have the Adobe sound effects. So I'm going to just go ahead and navigate to that. And let's say I want a squish sound. And I can select it, find some that I like. I can drag them in. And that is another way to import. And I'm just going to get a series of sound effects. pretty good. And then I'm going to look for something for more of a plop sound. But nothing seems to be coming up for plop. And I'm going to look up uh, plunger sound. That sounds like it's pretty good. It's going to be like a thud. I can close that, and then I can start to layer that sound effect in here. So find my spot where there's the impact, and that's about where I want it. And I can listen to it here. That sounds like a good first impact. So I'm going to grab, grab this one, drag it in. And I can see the waveform here. Right now you can see I am viewing it with my titles on. If your titles are not showing up, you can click this Show Audio Names. So that makes it a little bit easier as you're navigating. And then I can move this here. Sometimes that can get in the way because you can't see where it's peaking. And I'll just try and time that. Now if I want to be a little bit more exact, I might uncheck this Snap and Timeline. Be extremely careful with that because most of the time you want that checked on. All right, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to add that second impact sound of this kind of thudding here. So I'll grab that plunger sound. It's 
pretty close. It's a little bit loud. I'll go to my effect controls. I'm going to uncheck this here, this animation part, and I'll just punch in negative seven. That will probably sound a little bit better. And almost finished. So I'll just grab in some other ones. Now, when you see this blue icon, that is telling you that these are used in a sequence. Now you'll notice over here there's different symbols. This is my image sequence and this is the actual video. So that I'm not confused, I'm, I'm gonna double click this name. I'll call this movie. So this is my timeline. So that represents a sequence. So that I'm not confused by that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some of these other sounds lower this here, put it underneath. I'm going to lower this here, put it underneath, and do a little bit of editing. And then I think just one more sound here. Now, if you don't have enough here, I only have these three audio layers, I'm going to bring this underneath here and then it creates a new layer. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I want to lower the volume of that. So I'm going to turn off that animation and maybe I'll punch in negative 12 for that. And that's pretty good. And I'm going to trim this down a little bit so I didn't need to render all of that. And then I'll just add a transition. So I click this, go to effects, and I'm going to look for video transitions and I'll use a dissolve, cross dissolve. And because there is no other video over here, that's just going to fade out. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. When you're ready to export, go ahead and go to File, Export Media. And then we are going to make some changes here. So I'll call this Gelatin Plop. And under here, where it says Preset, I'm going to choose High Quality 1080. And then I will make some changes to this. Also, it is critical that you make sure that you save it in the right place so that you know where to find it. So here, this is where I'm going to be saving it. So don't skip that step. And then under here, I will collapse this just so you can see it. Video, this is what I'm rendering at. I'm going to be using the H.264, but I'm going to click this More button and I'll tell it to render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality, get a little bit more quality out of it. And I'm gonna scroll down, and instead of using a variable bitrate one pass, I'm going to use a variable bitrate two pass. That's gonna get me a little bit more quality out of this, and then I'll leave those settings the way they are, and then I can click export. So it is now rendered, and that is how you can import your footage into Adobe Premiere and edit it.